My name's Logan. I'm going to show you something inside Unreal. Download Unreal Engine from unrealengine.com and install 4.26.0. I'm going to explain to you how to create the environment that you can envision in your mind as fast as possible. Create a new blank project file or open up another project file that you've already created. In this case, I have a file called test underscore 426. Once you're inside the new project, create a new blank level with absolutely nothing in it. Under Window, scroll down and open up the Environment Light Mixer. At the far left, you see a box that says Minimal. This has three categories of drop downs for varying degrees of amount of information you want presented. Click on each of the elements to bring them into your world Skylight, Atmospheric Light, Second Atmospheric Light, Sky Atmosphere, and Volumetric Clouds. I like to use the Normal plus Advanced display of the settings so I can just see that everything I have to work with. Back inside the viewport, you can see that it's still showing all black. We're going to fix this by rebuilding the lighting. With the lighting rebuilt, the next step is the outer landscape. Hop over to Modes, select Landscape, and in this example, I'm importing a height map that I created using World Creator. The landscape comes in looking black and very shiny. We're going to apply one of Joe Garth's Brushify assets. In the Paint section of the Landscape tool, you can see that there is a handful of various types of shaders to apply. First tried the desert, but I think I'm going to switch over to dunes. I'm taking a look around and just seeing if there's any kind of a vantage point that I want to use to start building the scene or dialing in lighting. I'm going to click on my directional lights and I'm going to zero out the rotation and line up my suns and just figure out where I'd like them to be. I don't really want to go for a completely photorealistic world, so I'm using two suns. I'm renaming my directional lights to Sun01 and Sun02. You can also rename things by clicking on them and hitting F2. I want to link the suns together, so I'm going to make the smaller sun, Sun2, a child of Sun01, so that when I rotate Sun01, it also rotates Sun02. By default, directional light intensity comes in at 10, and this is way too high. Three and change is close to the sun intensity, so with my two suns, I'm going with three and a bit and two and a bit. This is where it's time to play, start tinkering. Just start changing settings to minimums and maximums and see what you come up with. Uh, Rotate your sun around, change powers, change lighting, change light color, change in scattering. Just have fun. In this sandy world, I want one sun to be kind of more of an orange, pinky red, and the alternate sun, I want it to be a smaller, light blue. Play around with angles and camera moves and your elevation of the camera in relation to the landscape. When you feel like you've got a good angle or you want to just see what everything feels like, hit play and run around. The new environment light mixer window makes it very easy to bring it up full screen and just see what all of your settings for all of the various environment things are. Go in and investigate what each one does. I like to work with this on my second monitor. That way I can change things and I can see the change in real time. Unfortunately with the tutorial I'm not able to do that. So you can see me tinkering and adjusting with values in front of you. I'm digging this kind of vanilla sky, half fire, pink sky look, so I think I'm going to explore this further. As you can see, the new environment light mixer 
and its new updated environment settings make it really easy to get those god rays into your scene. The god rays or light rays are possible because the sun and atmosphere now interact dynamically with the volumetric cloud lighting. I'm back inside the environment light mixer just dialing in some numbers, uh, generally messing around not knowing what I'm doing. I like to look at the lighting, so I want to bring in some assets and start building our little scene. I've imported Kitbash 3D Shangri-La asset pack. And I'm just going to start placing around and see what comes up. I first started using Unreal Engine after taking my buddy Jonathan Winbush's course. His course teaches you how to go from using Cinema 4D and integrating your motion graphics and animations inside of Unreal Engine. I highly suggest you check out his YouTube channel and he actually just put out a great video on getting the volumetric cloud set up. I didn't really go into that in this video, so check that if you want to learn more. After placing a few assets and messing around a little bit more with tinkering, uh, this is what I ended up with for my final result. Uh, this whole procedure took me under 20 minutes. That was a brief introduction of using the environment light mixer window, and I hope that helps you create your own worlds inside of Unreal. Thanks for watching.